If I mispronounce your name at all during this video, I am truly sorry. Oh, come on. What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Hunt to Hunter, back at it again with another video. And today I have discovered a certain Pokemon that really do need an evolution, at least in my opinion. Can have different opinions, right? This is opinion town after all. So I've taken on myself to think what type of Pokemon would definitely deserve an evolution, pre-evolution, something along those lines. So I've compiled a list of my top 10 Pokemon that deserve an evolution, in my opinion. So let's get started. Side note, all these uh, artwork I have found to list just some examples of what they could look like. Please make sure you follow them on DeviantArt, Pinterest, or wherever else you find them. I don't know. Uh, so let's get ahead of ourselves, or uh, let's get a let 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 video. Starting at number ten, we have Ice Q. Now, Ice Q, it's just a penguin with an ice cube on its head. So um, I figured maybe it could use like one more evolution or like a form evolution. It has that gimmick where. The ice cube breaks and the little penguin underneath. So, uh, why not have, uh, something like this? That would, uh, show off. Uh, this is some artwork by Distal Distaliano4. Um, like I said, if I butcher your name, which I will do, like, a lot in this video, and I'm so sorry. And I really do like this, you know, how it's a little more spiky, um, a lot more, you know, like, it deserves the evolution that it kind of needs. Otherwise, I'm never using this fucking thing ever. Mimikyu is way better, in my opinion. Coming up at number nine, we have Pultigeist. Now, I couldn't really read the name of the artist with this one, but I really do like this evolution a lot. This looks really cool. And I, personally, who is a Ghost-type fan, loves Ghost-types. But the fact that we had one ghost type evolution in my- Oh yeah, right, Poltegeist, that's what we're talking about. Uh, yeah, Poltegeist with Sinistee and Poltegeist. I feel like it could just want one more and it could be so cool. I mean, we got Dragapult. It's an awesome Pokemon. And T. Listen, I know it's Britain. It's the British region. You gotta have the T Pokemon. But it sucks. My god, fix this, please. Moving on to number eight. Moving on to number eight, we have Salandid. Now, Salandid normally already evolves into a Pokemon, Salazzle. Only if it's female, where is the males left to just die off as a Salandid? No, come on. We gotta give these dudes a fucking evolved form. I really do enjoy this artwork right here by Trix Picks. This male Salandid evolution looks so cool. Definitely a masculine Komodo looking dragon. Ah, oh, I think that'd be so cool for its evolution. Moving on to number seven, we have Helioptile. This artwork done right here by um, Amorus. Is that a Pokemon? <laughs> um, is really freaking cool. You know, I love Helioptile and I have used a Helios before and it's as good a Pokemon as it is. I feel like it's just missing something. So let's make it like a bigger, cooler, dinosaur looking Pokemon that could definitely tear through foes. I definitely think that'd be a major upgrade to Clement's team in Gen 6. Are you kidding me? Hell yeah. Moving on to number five, we have Ming Xiao. Now, I like Ming Fu and Ming Xiao, but I tend to forget these Pokemon a lot. What would be a great upgrade if Ming Xiao, in my opinion, just evolved one more time. I really do like this artwork done right here by Wago on four eight seven. I really do like this one a lot. Wago on nine four seven. That is, it just looks so flowy and it just looks so cool. I really do like this one. Coming up next on our list, we have Slurpuff. Now, I don't. Couldn't find any solid Slurpuff Evolve forms that I really liked. So I found this of Slurpuff uh, in its traditional forms. And 
I like that idea. As cool as this would be, maybe like a combination of this for its evolution would be really cool. Artwork done by this person, really, really phenomenal job. You know, Slurpuff, it's not bad, and it was kind of cool taking on a Gudra in the anime, but really it was just the fairy versus dragon thing that I don't care for. So, you know, I feel like if this thing evolved like one more time, I'd definitely get attached to a Slurpuff Pokemon. Till then, it kind of is just there as just a fairy type, you know? I, I understand why it's fairy type. I just... <sighs> Could be cooler, could be cooler. Coming in at number four, we have Torkoal. This Torkoal evolution done by Smiley Fakemon. Smiley has done amazing work on his own type of artwork for Fakemon before, and Torkoal is one of my favorite fire type Pokemon ever. But my god, it sucks sometimes. Torkoal needs an evolution so bad. Like maybe this bigger fortress tortoise with, you know, it's like a locomotive or like a like a fire um fortress or y you know something something to work with it really maybe even gain the ground type it does learn a lot of ground type moves and it does stay connected with earthquake a lot i really do think that torkoal would be really awesome if it had an evolution coming up next we have skarmory again couldn't find a really cool evolution for skarmory as big as a pokemon it is it's just not as great as it used to be. You know, um, an evolution could change that. Though this mega evolution artwork done by um, Samantha Cunningham, right here, very, very amazing looking. Really do love this one. You know, if we had something like this or something that is this, you know, I think that'd be really, really cool for an evolution. You know, maybe increase its attack. Bu definitely buff up its defense. It's a steel flying type, for God's sakes. You know, as annoying as Skarmory's can be, they're just not as strong as they used to. And, you know, an evolution can change that. Coming into number two, we have Girafferig. Now, originally in the Gen 2 artwork, Girafferig was supposed to look like this, evolving into something like this. I know. Kind of weird. And it was originally supposed to be a dark type, but then that got flipped back and changed through progression and then became a psychic normal type. But I still feel like Girafferig could do so good with an evolution. This artwork right here done by Pokey Luca really looks kind of cool and I really want something very much like it. There was a lot of cool artwork done for Girafferig and I couldn't really choose all of them, so, you know... Let's fucking do this one. I mean, Girafferig was supposed to look like this. But it, now it's this. Give me the evolution. And finally, for number one, we have Arbok. I love Arbok so much ever since I was a kid. Who wouldn't love a big, giant, poisonous cobra snake at your command fighting armies of elemental creatures? But Arbok is so just goddamn weak. I've used the Surviper once on my team, and that thing could take more hits than an Arbok. My god. Now, while Surviper could also use a evolution, in my opinion, honorable mention, I just feel like Arbok kind of needs it more. And, you know, I found a lot of awesome artwork for an Arbok, but I couldn't find the original artwork design. Though this design, done by Devil D-Man, Really cool artwork. Love this thing a lot. Really do capture it really well. I love the Galarian, you know, British style. It definitely... It's a nice look. I like it a lot. So, you know, maybe definitely an evolution would work with this, or maybe given a secondary type, maybe a Mega. It's gotta work with something. Make me, make me make it have like a bunch of Hydra heads or like a Medusa style thing. Like, come on, let's do something with Arbok. I love Arbok, I wanna use Arbok. Arbok, it just can't take a hit. Like, ugh, every chance I try to use an Arbok or an Ekans, it's just not doing it. It's, it just needs something. Something is missing for this Arbok, and I really need this Arbok to have an evolution. Please, Pokemon, Japan, are you listening? And that's going to wrap it up for today's video of Top 10 Pokemon I really, really want to evolve. Make sure you follow these guys, Pinterest and DeviantArt. Mostly, I found these guys on DeviantArt. You know, I think one of them was Pinterest, but I cannot remember which one that was. Um... Make sure to find these guys, the original artwork. 
is am like their work is amazing. All these people do a really great job in making these like Fakemon, uh, fake evolution, fake mega evolution, fake regional variants that they make. Imagination is key, y'all, and we're gonna change the world with it. You know. Now, if we could just get Arbok and Evolution. Did I make this whole video the point that I want Arbok to Evolution? Maybe, but these are 10 Pokemon I do want to have an Evolution for. Make sure you like, favorite, comment, subscribe. It definitely helps the channel. We are going to get that thousand mark at some point. And until next time, my Ghost Time Nation. Stay ghastly. Bye. Catch some more.